Launch him. And here we see him pulling in position. We've seen autonomous shooting here from both Spartronics on the Blue Alliance and IRS, their partners. But looks like they may be opting for the gear this time. IRS delivers the one. And they're not going to have enough time to shoot, but they've still got a hopper. Still got a hopper that's got some fuel pieces in it. With over two minutes in match number 119 to play, drivers have taken over control. These machines no longer operating on their own. 7.53, it's the High Desert Droids who collide with the Blue Alliance IRS, who's just trying to make their way by. And they cannot seem to break away without a little bit of a tussle. Spartronics doing what they do best and putting points up. That was a part of what got them so successful at the Glacier Peak event. Spartronics going to showcase their improvements in driver skill as they've practiced. And they've probably ironed out a bit of fine tuning when it comes to that shooter. Spartronics in position once again for Blue. Nice shots up for Blue. Almost a 100% accuracy for a while there. That is quite the volley as they build pressure. 16 kilopascals and counting. Already back for more balls is the Blue Alliance machine who continues to pick it up while a 13-18 showdown against the Red Alliance Wildcats. IRS proving to be the better defender as it looks like the Wildcats are gonna have to find another way around. Too much effort. They're not willing to try and sneak past 13-18. Under a minute to play, 55-0 seconds remaining in the match. Pronto is the Blue Bot center stage, looking for a place to go. They are trying to figure out what is next for them as they now are perhaps preparing to climb. With 35 seconds to go, drivers have to be thinking about what's going to happen in the end game. A tight match, only 40 points separating these teams could come down to the wire. 63-43, it's your Steel Ridge Robotics who pulls into position, clears a gear out of the way. The Red Alliance trying to get their third rotor going. Blue has three, and that is currently giving them the lead with tings in the time. One red bot, it's the Desert Droids that are up in the air looking high as your Blue Alliance machines climb as well. 1318 is joined by Spartronics. Just in the nick of time, Blue Alliance gets three machines up in the air. A very nice way to finish as far as the crowd's concerned. They approve. Let's check our scores on the board. Airships are up, up and away. The blue airship holding three of their machines as they take the win with 330 points. They're going to give their alliance partners two ranking points apiece. And we're going to see these alliances really working hard, Brett, as we realize we are in what is the final play for most of these teams. Yeah, absolutely. Two ranking points, a big win and a big boon for that Blue Alliance. It was an outstanding match for us to see there, and shooters on both sides of the field. 49-15, the Spartronics for Blue, and 753, the High Desert Droids for Red. One of the things we saw there that we haven't seen before is the hoppers, the fuel, that's a limited resource on the field. There's only so much of it available, and it looks like we didn't get a great view of it on our instant replay, but if you had been paying attention, Right here about in the middle of the match, right down here at the bottom of your screen, that's that center hopper front side of the field. And 753 and 